Hello, this is Janice Ferro from Tadpole Training and I'm here today with my lovely friend Oreo who's soaking up the warmth on the radiator and just checking I'm doing everything properly. Now, what do I want to talk with you about today? It's about resting. Today is the 19th of December, it's almost midwinter. Most of us are in the Christmas spirit or at least coming to the end of what's been quite a tough year. And I want to share with you some tips that I think will help you at the end of the year. Now look, I love what I do, but I must admit by this time in December, I'm feeling a bit tired, a bit jaded. Um, and I take two weeks off over the Christmas period every single year. But what if you can't take time off? What if you have to keep working? So I've got some tips and techniques that I hope will help you. Um, and here's the first one, number one, do something a bit different. So if you're feeling a bit tired and a bit jaded, why not use this time to catch up on admin? When I was a sales rep with Xerox, uh, we had to cover um, in the phones in case somebody called, but actually it was extremely quiet. So what we used to do was do our admin. So catch up on all those things that we hadn't had time to do. Update the CRM system, uh, make sure notes on clients were okay, um, fill out all those annoying bits of paperwork, the invoices, whatever it was that we hadn't done. Um, so I would suggest to you, what can you do within your job that's a bit different to give you a mental break, probably something important, perhaps you've pushed it to one side. So spend a couple of days getting rid of all that fiddly stuff that you really don't enjoy. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is planning. Now, a lot of people are saying at this time of year, you should be planning for next year already. Um, you should have a detailed plan in place. Well, do you know what? Life's not always like that. So use this time where you've got a bit of mental breathing space to get some planning underway. What things can you do to help ensure that next year is as good as it should be? Did you hit target? Brilliant, why? What things caused you to do that? If you didn't hit target, what were the reasons? And be honest, yes, sometimes it's external factors, but often it's us. So what do you need to help you achieve your target next year? Do you need more training, more development? Is it something you can talk with your manager about or is it something that you have within you? And then the third thing I'm going to suggest you do, and this is a lovely one, is to use this time of year as an opportunity to go back and read all the testimonials, all the happy sheets if you collect them, all the, the, the wonderful positive feedback you've got from your customers and remind yourself why you do what you do. Remind yourself that you make a difference, that you help people achieve their goals, that you take away their pain. Um, and then that will leave you with just the most immense feeling of satisfaction. So there you are, my three tips use this time wisely and um, I'm off now to paint my salt dough Christmas decorations that I've been doing. So take care and see you soon. Bye bye.